Welcome to the warm-up presented by Ottoville Bank here in America's friendliest city, chatting with Chris Summers, head coach of the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats. First year head coach for you, Chris, but you've been around the program. You're an assistant for two years, and also you're the athletic director here. Yeah. So nobody should miss a beat coming into 20, the 2014 football season. Well, I would hope not. You know, I think uh, for the most part, I think it's been a pretty smooth transition. So uh, I think that's the one advantage of being here is I know the guys and and I've, I've been around the program for a while, so um, everything was pretty comfortable from the beginning. What about for you personally? You think you'll be able to juggle the athletic director hat you'll have to wear with your head football coach? I know you've had experience yeah. coaching and filling that role. Is it something that you're, uh, yeah. is going to be a challenge, you think? No, I've gotten a lot busier. There's no doubt about that. I've gotten a lot busier, but uh, uh, you know, I have good help. I have great help, and um, I have good coaches to help me too. So. Uh, I'll do my best, and I'm sure it's like all things will get, get better with it as, as time goes on. Reflecting back on 2013, a very great season, 9-1 in one record, lost to Ada in the first round of the playoffs, and also finished tied atop the NWC. What are some of the things you need to do to repeat that success? Well, you, you know, the, I think every season's different. You know, that's, that's number one. Um, you know, we lost a, a great group of seniors. Uh, they've been a, a, around the program for a long time and had a lot of success. But, it, you know, I, I think uh, you take a lot of positives from that season and, uh, you know, how you can build off of it. And, uh, I think the one thing that our, our seniors did for us was really um, put in that winning mentality. And I think we've seen that. Uh, carry over in the off-season program here too, and, and uh, in the weight room and things like that. So, uh, you know, we're, we'll we'll go one day at a time, but um, you know, we we have we have goals too that we want to reach by the end of the season as well. Of course, a couple of those seniors they're looking to replace is the quarterback Austin Jenninghoff and wide receivers Ross Thompson, Tyler Mox, and of course running back Xavier Buzzy Bizarre. Yeah. Who are some of the guys that you're looking to kind of come up and fill in those skill positions? Sure. Uh, you know, it's important too a day for us. It really is because we we really have a lot of guys competing in battling right now. We really do. Uh, so to, to say there's one name out there right now, uh, we don't have that yet. And that's that's what we're doing out here. So um, you know, we, we hopefully we'll we'll know soon. And uh, I know our guys are are eager to uh, to fill those roles that those guys left. And obviously they have big shoes to fill. But uh, I think we have some capable guys to do it. I do. Taking a look at the schedule, you have a couple scrimmages coming up in the next two weeks, one against Bath and then going to Marion Local. What are you looking to get out of those scrimmages heading into week one? I mean, it's just anything. You just you, you just look to get better. You know, I think uh, you have to get used to hitting somebody else. You know, you have to get used to uh, getting back into game shape and things like that. And, um, you know, just getting better, just polishing as the season goes on. And uh, uh, hopefully you can come into the season and you can be uh, – and you can be running, you know, on all cylinders uh, early, and you know that's what we hope to do. And hoping not to miss a beat against Waynesfield Goshen Week One before opening up the conference schedule at home against Paulding. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to get off on that right foot? How important is it to get that first W? Well, you, you know, one game doesn't determine your season, but I think it's it's extremely important. Now, we have the same goal that everybody has right now. That's winning your first ball game. Hey, you know, yeah. So uh, it's it's definitely you know it's definitely it's it's something that. We've stressed in the off season of, of getting off on the right foot and and uh, and getting going. So uh, right now, that's the only game for us. That's the only one we're looking at, and uh, that's the only one we're focused on. So um, you know, hopefully, when when that time comes, we'll play up to our potential. And speaking of getting on fast starts, last year you guys started eight and zero, four and zero in 2012. Do you see when you get on that type of start, the momentum really build with the guys? Oh, I think so, definitely. I think. Uh, you know, I think each each win, you know, and it, that's hard to do. Yeah, you know, that was the one thing we had a, a group of guys that you know really went into some uh, a lot of uh, uh, one on the road, one at home. Uh, I think anytime you do that, your confidence is this keeps building. I mean, it's 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 obvious that's going to happen. So, um, yeah, you know, that was a that was a special that was a special year last year. It's a a great group of seniors that that helped us do that. Looking at the NWC, it's a competitive conference, mm -hmm. always is, and you guys, you know, three teams at the top, you mm -hmm. guys included last year. Where do you fit in this year? Are you expecting the same contenders near the top? Oh, like I say, I think every season's different. You know, you, you never know what you're going to get till it begins. And, um, you know, we're, 
we're not going to worry about that. We're really not. You know, we're going to focus on Wayne's Field, and then uh, week two, you know, obviously we'll kick we'll kick off the the NWC NWC play. But yeah, we'll see. You know, we're we're just we're focused one game. That's it. And I know that's what you want to instill in your players. Yeah. But to be, to be honest, since you know you lost twice to Ada last year and you tied with them atop the conference, sure. do you think some of your guys are have that game circled or they're looking a little more forward to that one? Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's an obvious thing that probably happens. I'm sure, but um, you know, I'm sure Ada's uh, looking at their full, you know, their schedule as well, you know, like we are. So um, I would hope we're not just concentrating on that. I hope they're they're looking forward to Waynesfield. That's that's once again, that's really all we're looking at. So taking it one game at a time, and yeah. early on here in camp. It's, it's hot out here. How important is conditioning and, and keeping these guys in shape with uh, with a little bit longer of a preseason than in years past? Oh, it's real important. You know, it's real important. I, th I think that um, especially what, you know, we want to do as a program uh, offensively and defensively, we have to be in good shape, you know. So it, it is important. I think it's important that, you, you, you know, you take care of the guys. You just, you know, physically and mentally, you know. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to hit the guys hard, and, and uh, I know they're going to work hard for us, but uh, each and every day we'll, we'll gauge where we're at and if we have to add a little or take a little off and, and um, you know, just, just play it by ear. Thank you so much for your time, Coach Summers. You can see Delphus Jefferson take on Spencerville on WOSN on Week 12. Time for a break on the warm-up, but when we come back, Mark Koontz will join us to talk with some of the Wildcat players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Ottoville Bank as we continue to talk Jeff Cat football. I'm Mark Koontz, joined now by Tyler Foss, Kurt Wallenhop, and Trevor Dudgeon. And we'll start with you, Tyler. You're on the offensive line, a line that opened up some big holes last year for, for Xavier, Xavier Bazard. Who do you got uh, back in that backfield this year that you're going to open up holes for? Uh, we've got uh, Dalton Hicks back there, uh, Aaron Parkins. Trevor down there, and I have a feeling the holes will be opened up again this year, just as much as they were. And of course, we'll be protecting Kurt. Kurt's going to be the quarterback this year, also on the defensive side, playing linebacker. And with all the talent that graduated last year, there's some question marks about this Jefferson team this year. Well, yeah, but I know we got a young team this year, but we come out here and we work hard, and we're going to be right back at it this year. Trevor, as one of the seniors on this young team, how much do the seniors need to, to step up and, and play that leadership role for the youngsters? We need to step up big time because we lost a lot of good leaders last year, and like Ross and Buzzy and Mox and them, so that'll be a big part. Obviously, the other big change this year is you've got Chris Summers as the head coach, certainly well familiar with Coach Summers. And uh, Trevor, just tell us about how things are maybe a little bit different under Coach Summers now. Um. That's a good question, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously it's early. In the summer, how did the, the summer go for you guys with the new coach? Lift a lot. He's like always in the weight room and yeah, just work hard. And Kurt, have, have you seen changes on this Jeff Cat team throughout the summer? Yeah, we've been out here working hard. Just we like the new coach, new offense, new defense. Just working hard and get better. Tyler, coming off the, the playoff appearance, it seems like the last couple of years for Jefferson, you have some good teams and some lean years, good years, lean years. Is it a point of pride for the senior group to, to make sure this team continues to remain at the top of the NWC? I think so, and I believe the whole team thinks that it's going to be a big deal for all of us to get back up there, but we're just going to have to play it out and hope for the best. Kurt? shared the title last year how much would you guys like to have an outright title this season as seniors I mean we'd love that obviously but we're gonna take it one day at a time here and working to get better just focus on Waynesfield week Trevor a little bit of about a month away from that Waynesfield game what do you think you guys need to work on the most between now and the opener against the Tigers just working together and people needing to step up and just become leaders and just work hard all right, sounds good. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by the Audible Bank. When we come back, 
more from the Jefferson Wildcats here at Jefferson High School. Welcome back to the Out of Hill Bank warm-up in Jefferson High School as we're joined now by three more Jeff Cat seniors, Aaron Parkins, Tyler Talbot, and Warren Poling down on the end. And Warren, we'll start with you. You're going to be on that offensive line, the defensive line. A lot of the times in the summer, there's those seven-on-seven -seven passing camps and seven-on-seven -seven tournaments. What do the line do during the summer? We've just been going through all the drills and just working hard on that stuff. And then we've got Tyler Talbot, a tight end, a defensive end. What uh, what did the summer lifting program do for you guys? Uh, I think we did good. It helped us out a lot, I think. And that's pretty much it. We Aaron, hard. what are you looking forward to this year as your senior season with the Jeff Cats? Just making it the last season and getting the wins that really followed up last year. Now, last year, 9-2 and two record, 6-1, and one, tied for the NWC title. Are you looking forward to playing Ada again, maybe getting them back for those two losses last year? Yeah, we're looking forward to playing just every game, just every game, one by one. Certainly Waynesfield Goshen, the first game is circled on the calendar. What other games are, are you looking forward to then? I'm just looking for the first one. Like he said, we're going to take them one by one and not really focus on any certain game. Warren, what do you think the, the strength of this year's team is going to be? Um, I think it's going to be our toughness, our will to win. Certainly a great tradition of football at Jefferson, getting back into the postseason last year. Is that motivation for this year, Aaron? Yeah, it's it's going to be tough following up the real good seniors that we left, but no one really knows about us. So it's underdog and flying under the radar right now. You know, Tyler, we talked a little about week one. I think one of the special matchups this season is going to be week 10, where you guys, obviously every time you play Spencerville, it's pretty special. But what's that going to be like to play that on a Saturday night, the last – game of the season on a Saturday night? I think it's going to be a lot different. We're just going to have to, I think we'll be pretty good. Just have to wait and see. Warren, looking forward to, to wrapping it up on a Saturday like that, the regular season at least? Mm -hmm, of course. Able to get in. Warren, what have you seen from Coach Summers now that uh, maybe is different than Coach Lindemann's approach? Um, I think he takes it a little bit Lighter on the running, but more important on the technique and stuff like that, the basics of it. Tyler, you got some big shoes to try and fill with Ross Thompson graduated. What did you learn from, you know, the, the tight end of the, the, the end of the year for the uh, NWC last year? I learned a lot. Working with Ross was, was really fun. He taught me a lot. Just look forward to using what he taught me in this year's season and make it the best we can. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us on the warm-up here from Jefferson High School. I want to thank all of our guests and Finkel. I want to a big thanks to the Auto Bank, the sponsor of this episode. We'll see you next time on WOSN.